Welcome to Alentix IT Solutions Private Limited. This is HMS demo video. There are various problems that hospital management might face. Keeping a medical history of a patient is near to impossible. Also, if the hospital is a multi specialty hospital, managing the patients of various doctors is very difficult. Daily financial statistics is difficult to record require more manpower and time to keep track of stock. If the hospital is multi-speciality, visiting doctors management need to do. It is very important to secure data. Synchronization between different departments of the hospital is difficult to manage. Solution to all these problems, introducing hospital management system. With HMS, the process of a hospital is simplified and managed very easily. Let us consider one case where a patient comes into the hospital. If the patient coming first time to the hospital, it is necessary to do its registration. In registration, patient's basic information is saved. Also, if the patient has some medicinal allergy or chronic diseases, it can be saved in it. If the patient is company patient, it can also be specified in it. The chronicle diseases displayed here comes from the diagnosis master. We can see the list of all master forms in master menu. Masters are nothing but one-time entry forms. A user has to fill data once, and it can be used later on in the day-to-day -day operation. For example, if the user wants to add another chronicle disease into this list, it can be entered through master form, and it will appear in this list. Same in case of the company master. User saves associated companies through company master, and a list will appear here. Once patient get registered, it will appear in the patient list. To view the patient list, click on search patient, and click on display. All the patients who have done registration will appear on the list. You can search by different criteria like first name, last name, phone number, etc. Then, select the row header of the patient and click on send to queue. Then to allocate doctor dialog appears. In that window select specialization and doctor to whom you want to send patient and click OK. After allocation of a doctor, the patient gets added to the queue. In patient queue, status of all patient is displayed. By viewing the status, the administrator can get the idea about each and every patient in the hospital. This is also helpful for doctors as they can see how many patients are waiting for them. If a patient is waiting for the doctor, the status will be waiting for doctor. If a patient is waiting for the lab test, the status will be waiting for lab. If the patient is IPD patient, the status will be IPD patient. At the doctor side, doctor views the patient queue. Selects the patient. The doctor can send the patient to OPD treatment or IPD treatment. If the doctor wants to give the patient OPD treatment, he has to click on send to OPD. This screen is a very crucial screen for doctors. There are various tabs like the previous history, health details, documents, prescription, lab test, procedures, consumables, other charges. In the previous history, list of the previous history appears if the patient had already visited the hospital. In the first tab, enter basic health details. If the patient has some documents or reports with him, he can scan that document. To add that document to visit, click on Select Image and select the image you want to add and click Open. Then click Add Document. The image will get transferred to the list. If you want to remove that image, click Delete Document. Next tab is Prescription tab. This is the most important section of the visit. A doctor can select the symptom and click Get Diagnosis. The diseases mapped with symptoms are fetched into the diagnosis list. Select the diseases from list and press Get Medicines. 
the medicines associated with that diagnosis appears in the medicine list. Select medicines and click on add prescription. Or if you don't want to go through all these steps, you can simply select medicines and click on add prescription. The medicines get added to the prescription. In the row of medicine name there are more columns, that is dosage, dosage note, quantity. Select dosage from dosage list. Enter dosage note for example, before food, after food, etc. Enter the quantity of the medicine. If the medicine does not available in the list of medicines you can enter its name directly into medicine column of the prescription list. The next important field in prescription is doctor note. A doctor can enter a private note in this field which is not going to print on prescription. Next tab is lab test tab in which doctor can specify any lab test to the patient if required. To give the patient a lab test, select test type, then select test subtype and click on add test. In procedure tab, doctor can add procedure whichever carried out on that patient. The charges of that procedure will automatically get added to the bill. The next tab is consumables tab. Whatever the consumables used against the patient can be selected from list. In other charges, the doctor can add other charges if any. Also, the discount can be added to the bill. To add the discount, click on Give Discount. Enter discount details like type of discount, the amount, etc. After filling all this detail, click Save to save the visit. After saving click on Print Prescription to print the prescription, Preview Prescription to preview it. Print bill to print the bill, and preview bill to preview it. To view patient's previous history, go to previous history, double click on patient visit numbers row header. All tabs will get filled with the details of the previous visit. If the doctor gives any lab test to the patient, and there is an in-house lab, the patient will be sent to the lab queue. The lab queue contains a list of all patients waiting for the lab test to be done. The initial status will be waiting for lab. If the patient has given two tests, and completed one test and another test is remaining, the status will be tests pending. After all tests completed, the status will be all labs completed. To prepare lab test report, the technician has to click on lab queue. In this form, there is a list of patients waiting for the lab. Double click on row header of the patient, of whom result technician wants to create. The report editing window opens. The basic information of patient will get filled automatically. Select test type, test subtype. The available template list for that lab test will appear. Select template you want to use. After selecting, the template appears in the template editing area. Edit the report and click on save. The report will be saved. After saving the report, you can preview or directly print the report. If there is another test for the patient, do the same procedure for selecting test type. If the technician wants to do changes in the already saved report, click on lab menu. Click on display list to view the day's created reports. If the technician wants to edit previous dates report, he can select that date and click on search report. The list appears. Click on the patient name and click view report. The report editing window appears. Make changes to the report and click update report. Next important section is IPD section. The doctor has to select a patient from the patient queue and click on send to IPD in order to give him IPD treatment. IPD form is very much similar to OPD form. Only some IPD related additional details are included in it. In IPD, you must have to allocate bed to the patient. To allocate bed, go to allocate room tab. Check allocate room checkbox. Then select room type, room number, and bed number. Health details, documents, prescription, lab test, 
Consumables, other charges tabs are same as OPD form. First time while creating visit, enter the details, and save click on save. The visit is created. Click on reload to refresh the form. Now, go to previous day history tab. The visit it appears here. Double click on patient visit, the day it appears. Double click on day it all tabs will get filled. The billing details will appear. If the patient wants to pay some deposit, he can pay it by entering an amount into add deposit. Enter amount and name of the person and click calculate total. The amount details will be displayed like total amount, discount, total bill amount, paid amount, remaining amount. If the patient has deposited extra amount, it is displayed an extra amount. Click on save. The additional tabs here are billing and discharge. In billing, section wise bill of that patient is displayed. Dot that is lab test charges, procedure charges at day wise bed charges also displayed in it. The main thing in IPD is the patient can be admitted to hospital for more than one day. And patient's daily treatment has to be carried out. Every patient who got admitted is added to the IPDQ. He will remain in IPDQ until getting discharge. From this queue, the doctor can assign treatment to patient. A nurse can take follow-up of that treatment and doctor can view the treatment carried out by the nurse or not. To assign treatment to the patient, the doctor has to click on IPDQ, select patient and click on treatment. IPD patient visit treatment form gets open. There are various fields, fill up the details. In treatment section, there are two tabs, first, medicinal treatment and saline treatment. To give medicinal treatment, select name, enter quantity, select date and click on add. To add saline treatment, select saline tab, select saline name and date on which saline has to give. Then click on save. To take follow up of the patient's treatment, the nurse has to click on IPDQ, select patient and click on treatment nurse. The medicines and saline added by doctor can be viewed here. If the medicine had been given to the patient, check on the status and enter time. To add saline as given, go to the saline tab. Select saline name, date, and time and click on add. Click save. If the doctor wants to view the treatment carried out by the nurse, he can click on view treatment in IPDQ. In this form, the doctor can view the treatment given by the nurse. To prepare BPTPR chart, the nurse can select patient name, click on BPTPR chart, enter date, time, pulse, BP, take, output and click on add. The details will get added to the list. Click on save. If you want to print this chart, click on preview BPTPR. If the doctor is a gynecologist, then there are various options like death report, sterilization, reject sterilization, newborn report, etc. To enter purchased stock information into the system, go to stock purchase. Select stock name. Then, enter purchased quantity, purchased price per quantity. In applicable price per quantity, enter the price you want to charge the patient for that particular item. Click on Save to save the record. To view the daily collection of OPD, click on Daily Collection OPD. Click on Display to display current dates collection. If admin or doctor wants to view the collection of any date, he has to select the date and click on Display. To view IPD's collection, click on Daily Collection IPD. And next procedure are same as OPD. Daily task menu is intended to carry out day-to-day -day work. The first submenu in this category is daily attendance. To fill attendance details, select employee name, select date, enter in time, out time. After selecting a date, employee's shift details are displayed in assigned shift section. 
after entering in and out time, total hours of your work will get automatically calculated. Also, if there is overtime, it will get displayed in overtime section. If an employee is on leave that day, it can be managed in his leave section. If the shift of the employee has been changed for that particular day, tick on Shift Change checkbox and select Changed Shift for that day. Admin can view all attendance list at a glance by clicking on View Daily Attendance. To add daily work done, go to Daily Tasks, click on Add Daily Work Done. Select Employee Name. The task assigned to the employee will appear in the Job Profile list. Select the work you'd have done today and click on Save. Admin can view work done by employee and view work done form. The last menu is Reports menu. In this menu, all gynecology and OT related reports can be seen. This includes birth register, OT register, guardian consent, etc. Also, there are various types of consent forms and certificates provided. These includes birth certificate, medical certificate, birth certificate, etc. This is all about HMS software. If you have any queries, you can contact our technical team. Thank you so much for your valuable time.